doesn't taste like anything. Got my hands on black walnut and wormwood. What is going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. If you don't know me, my name's Marika. I previously did a video where I was doing the grape fast and I realized like a lot of things that were happening to me during that fast just made me not feel good. I felt like it connected to having parasites in my body. Finally got around to doing the research. I went and picked up these two products from the vitamin shop, a bentonite clay detox. This is gonna help absorb all the toxins. Whereas this powder is psyllium husk powder. It's basically like the laxative that's gonna help push everything out. I need to go out today and get some groceries so I can prepare myself. Uh, it also says that you should avoid processed foods, dairy, sugar, meat. I will take y'all with me, show y'all the kind of foods that I will be eating while I do this parasite cleanse. This is what I ended up getting from the grocery store. Just a couple things. I am gonna cut up this pineapple because I want to take the powder in a smoothie form. Before I get into cutting up this pineapple, I am gonna take this bentonite detox uh, prior to doing the powder. I don't wanna take both at the same time. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of time in between it. It does say to take one tablespoon with four to eight ounces of water. So I got this little It doesn't smell like anything. Tablespoon, hopefully it doesn't spill. It's giving, it's giving very much milk. Okay. It doesn't taste like anything. It feels kind of chalky. Mouth is starting to feel dry. Now let me get into cutting up this pineapple and then making a smoothie so that I could put this powder in. So I figured why not just add the powder to the smoothies that I already made. I think what, it was probably like 10, 15 minutes ago that I took that detox stuff. I kind of feel mm, blah, kind of. So we'll see how this goes. Ever since I took that powder and detox liquid, my body feels so tired right now. Maybe I'm just getting the itis. with the powder in it. I got my hands on 
black walnut and wormwood this right here is what's really going to just create a toxic environment for parasites and expel everything so i just prepped my body for the past couple of days eating the right foods uh, taking this just prepping it to where now when i take this this is what's really going to expel everything out i'll wait after i finish this maybe like 15 minutes i will come back and take this here is the stuff i just took a shower ignore my hair but i got my little notes on here black walnut it says it kills adult worms in the body and it's gonna allow for a regular bowel movement the other herb that's in this is wormwood and that's gonna strengthen your digestive system increase production of stomach acid and kill worms in the larva stage both of these are natural herbs and they're just grounded up and turned into an oil it's like if you ate the peeling of a lemon we're gonna see how this goes i'm only gonna take one for right now So far, I haven't really had any problems with doing this stuff. However, today for lunch, I did have some watermelon and my stomach got bloated so fast. I was in pain. Other than that, I haven't had any headaches. Um, these breakouts. I don't know what's going on with those. Tomorrow will be the last day that I do this parasite cleanse and I'll just wrap up everything for y'all and let y'all know how it went. Taking this nasty stuff. Uh. Eee. I know this video is long overdue. I probably did that great fast back in February or March, and I said I was gonna do a parasite cleanse. <music> As I had mentioned, I think it was like day four. I didn't want to just throw three products into my body that I've never fully tried before. And I just wanted to make sure like my insides and my gut was going to be okay with breaking all this down. So that's why I spent those first two days just getting my body used to this stuff that I was putting in it and then eventually adding the black walnuts and wormwood. These did not taste different. So you don't have to worry about it being like disgusting. This right here, there's so many reviews on this, eliminating parasites out of your body. And this stuff is so bitter. Y'all seen how I reacted with this stuff. It is just so nasty. I did attempt to do a parasite cleanse the beginning of this year and i just didn't prepare myself right i didn't do really good research because i had taken something similar to this it was by a different brand but it was black walnut and wormwood and i took it for a month and my body i had headaches every single day uh, I was hurting, I was not having regular bowel movements. I just wasn't doing this the right way. And so I was like, I'm not even gonna try to record this because I'm doing it wrong, you know? So 
I finally got around to learning like it is so important when you do a cleanse to go on a whole foods diet because parasites can't stand it. So you wanna create that environment to where they're going to end up being released from your body. After taking this for three days, I did not suffer in any way like how I did the beginning of this year. It was only on day one and day four that I experienced headaches. Um, I definitely want to say day one was because I was putting those two products in my body and it was trying to get familiar with it. I personally don't want to share pictures of what my stools look like, but I know after taking the black walnut and wormwood, my stool, I was getting like these strings attached. I've never seen that before. And I did some of the research. Uh, I could probably tell y'all the name to Google. to get like an idea of how my stool was looking for the last couple of days. The stool was looking a little crazy. Uh, there was like white spots all on, it was, yeah. Anyways, I'm getting too much into detail. Working out was something that was like last on my mind. I didn't want to add all this stuff on my body and then make sure I consume water and then go and do some workouts. So for the whole time, I really didn't even do any workouts. Um, if you do end up trying to put that into this routine, maybe do some light exercises and also make sure that you are taking like your vitamins and just staying hydrated. I do want to put a disclaimer out there. This is just me sharing my experience and my thoughts. I'm not licensed in this. Um, I just did some research and felt like this was something that I wanted to do for my health, for my gut, for my mind. If you want to do something like this, maybe seek professional help or go somewhere that's more reliable. This is just my experience and what I've been doing. Overall, I think this was such a great cleanse. Um, I've had good energy. I haven't really had to deal with uh, low energy and headaches and bloating. I feel like I really cleansed my body for the past couple of days. It's so important that I did switch to a whole foods diet. So just keep in mind, uh, you can't consume certain foods when you do this. I don't think this is something that should be done often, maybe like every six months. I know there are supplements out there that are specifically made for parasite cleanses. And there's also really good probiotics that you should take on top of doing cleanses. Y'all seen those smoothies that I was making. I honestly have been thinking about if I want to create another YouTube video where I just uh, show y'all different smoothies that I make that make you feel good on the inside and taste really good at the same time. I don't know. I've been like telling myself that, but I know me, I like to record like every single step that I'm doing and put a load on myself and then I try to meet this expectation and yeah so I don't know if y'all are interested in seeing like the different smoothies that I make comment down below thank you so much for watching this video I do hope in some way that you learned something from this or if there's products in this video that you were interested in knowing how it was gonna be uh, hopefully this video gave you insight on that. Again, please try to do your own research. I will link some articles below to help y'all like start your researching. If y'all are interested in seeing more cleanses, let me know in the comments down below or you can just like this video and I will see y'all in the next video.